if you even go back to the first sale to Fred, the uh, the sports image company, and uh, and then getting into the chase, like what are your conversations with Dale? I'm, I'm thinking curious. the same thing. Yeah, I, I I'm curious if you are human, and I would wonder if you felt or if you took it personal, felt like there was, you know, disloyalty towards you. One hundred percent from Pennsylvania. Yeah. Because so you, yeah, you uprooted your entire world for this. You brought your whole family yeah. down. You weren't really given much of a choice. In two and a half years. <laughs> oh, yeah. In two and a half years, yeah. it's not a long. Did time. Did you ever think about going back, to, or could you have went back to the hanger business? I I asked my dad in April of '95. I said, "This is a mistake, Dad." He said, "You're not starting this again." And no, <laughs> You're not coming back to me. For no, a job. and I said, "No, <laughs> seriously." And that's why I'm telling Marcy, "Don't come down." It was ugly in the beginning. Yeah. I mean. You know, you go back to Daytona, seven weeks after I came there and I put in all these new business practices, three out of five of the tractor trailer people quit. People th- yeah. threw the keys at me and yeah. said, I'm out of here yeah. and we have to go to Rockingham. They're throwing the yeah. keys at me on Monday, walking out of the building, and then I have to go to Rockingham. And um, the fifth guy in the room, fourth guy was Chicken Chuck Sylvie. And I said, Hey, man, don't threaten me. Don't give me an ultimatum. Call me a dumb Yankee. Do everything you can. And he's like, I really love Earnhardt, but I don't know why he hired a dumb Yankee. I'm like, he did. So that's where we are. And then the fifth guy who came in the room was um, Chris Williams. And um, Chris Williams was really, really, really responsible of um, putting the team together. And, and he played a major role in Earnhardt's souvenir business. Um, he went to Martinsville, where he's from, and he went to Danville. And we just hired new people. But, I mean, just think about this. I'm on the job seven weeks, and, and it's three apart. out of five <laughs> – People quit on Monday. Um, you know, you come out of that garment industry. My dad told me, don't ever let them know you're afraid. I didn't let them know I was afraid, but when they left the room, I'm like, you damn, I'm, <laughs> damn, I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought that up and, because and you weren't received well when you got here. Not yeah. at all. more reason why I'm wondering what, how you felt. And did you even have a conversation with Dale? When yeah, so go, yeah I want to hear about I, that. I kind of, yeah. I was real mad. They didn't have my back across the board. And, um, a lot of people didn't, and I felt like there was a lot of knives on my back. But you know what? Be a big boy. Shut up. Shut up. Why should I? Dale Earnhardt's an icon. I made the choice. He didn't. So you just went on, went on your way. So that's when that's... I got into that whole depression part of it all. And, um, and I, I wasted a year of my life being you know pretty pretty upset, pretty upset, and pretty depressed. But you're talking about the the second time, like the chase. Yeah, yeah. Ninety nine. That, that, that one hurt. Chase. 99. That yeah. one hurt. 99. What, but did the the first one, the first one? I mean, his daughter is working for you. Yeah, I mean, it was company sales. Well, I guess he thought you were still running the company, so like there wasn't no. really anything to explain. Well, no. When he no, when I went there, he they were happy to get me the job as president board of directors and all that that was a business decision he decided to take a lot of money and then he had a big guarantee he's got to do it they had a better offer than i had he's got to do it so okay. he, he so that's okay that's business and then you know trying to get there and work with action i mean um, arizona and all that it just wasn't going to work so s- something had to change and it was me so, so i had to go you were at peace on that one but the, I wasn't happy, but I had to go. I know, but you were at peace, I think. Yeah, and, yeah I was and, at peace. And then the Chase Authentics thing was still a way to be able to um, work with Dale still, correct? He was part yeah. of that company. Yeah, well, all the drivers, yeah. All the drivers were. Yeah. And so you and Dale, I'm, I mean, I'm just kind of harping back on, I'm curious about your relationship with Dale Earnhardt it, I, I, through it's, all this. It's good through all of that Chase. Okay. But post that, then I was done. Did you ever have a conversation with him after that? No. I mean, yeah. Hey, Dale, how are you doing? What's going <laughs> on? Um, you know, Nothing ever but crying. Better. Did you yeah. ever have a conversation with Teresa? No. No. Okay. No. 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 There was no crying. Okay. A bit, uh, once again, I lost on business. There was crying, I, though. I, Kelly I, said she, I, there was crying I, the day. There was crying. Yeah. <laughs> I was crying when he left. Yeah. I throw all my cards face up on the table. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people I dealt with that didn't play the game fair. Yeah. But you know what? Forget about it. Hey, look where I am today. Well, yeah. Well, we, and, and we'll so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm here. Absolutely. I, I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Th- so... For both of you guys, the mid '90s, mid to late '90s in the souvenir business, has anything come close to that? The height, that boom, that that was based off of what I'm hearing you guys say is the the uh, 25 anniversary paint scheme that Dale Earnhardt ran in the Winston All Star Race, and then the year after the Olympic paint scheme that started this whole trend of special paint schemes that was always reserved for the Winston. Right, that was where it was in the '90s. 
Was any is there ever anything like that in terms of money made? Only one. Only one. When, Which one? When Dale came, went to Hendrick. Oh, yeah, 2008. Dale Jr. Yeah, yeah. Dale Jr. Oh, yeah. okay. That, so, that's, that's so, only one. Yeah, and my perspective would be, so I stayed at Action Performance from 97 to 2001 when our dad died and um, <clears throat> in a variety of roles. And my perspective is just greed took over. We started overproducing, overmaking. You could get, I mean, sitting here looking at this Budweiser number eight car, um, you could get a car in every color and every finish and race ready and pre race and sat in the parking lot for qualifying and the version that sat in the shop over, you know, getting ready. I mean, you could, it, it just got, you know, supply overran demand and it just turned upside down mm. and it just turned upside down. It, it, exactly it was really happened. bad. And, it was very bad. And it kept on going. Um, when Dale passed away, that was a big boost yeah. to the industry on just the collectability of that, but that was only a Band-Aid in, in the sink and ship. Mm. Um, yeah. Then it got back to losing massive money, and then in 05, for some reason, ISC and SMI bought Fred out. Yeah. So Joe goes to work for NASCAR.com yeah. in 2001. Yeah. yeah I, I get a call in either 99 or 2000, come to Darlington, and to see uh, Bray Carey, remember the TV deal, Bray Carey and George Pine mm -hmm. and Brian France. And, and uh, they said, what are you doing? And this is when I'm in the lows, right? And, I, and I'm still trying to run. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did you run down there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> they said, what do you know about e-commerce? And um, uh, we have to launch NASCAR, a NASCAR e-commerce site. I said, I know business. E-commerce is just doing business in the air. And I didn't know, you know, at that point in time. I said, what's, what's your goals here? He said, well, uh, Fred Wagonoth <laughs> is starting um, um, Go Race. What was that? Go Racing.com. Go Racing.com. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I remember and, that. And, and he is telling the marketplace he's going to have exclusive internet rights. Yep, I remember that. And we want you to um, start this and, and launch it before he gets it launched. Hey, if you like that video, like and comment below, and don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another piece of Dirty Mode Media content.